Hello everyone, we just finished the high holidays, we are about to go into Sukkot. But between Yom Kippur and Sukkot, we have Shabbat Parashat Ha'azinu. In Shabbat Parashat Ha'azinu, it's Moshe Rabbeinu's last words to Am Yisrael. Next Parsha is the last Parsha of the Torah. So Moshe Rabbeinu needs to pick his words very carefully, what he's about to say. And he decides to do it in a form of a song. Listen the sky as I will sing, and the ground should hear what I'm about to say. There are two different forms of listening in that sentence. Ha'azinu and v'tishma. In English, we would translate them probably both into listen or hear what I'm about to say. But they're very, very different in their essence. Ha'azinu, if I want someone to la'azin, they can be far away from me. Lishma, you need to be closer in. Moshe Rabbeinu, very, very spiritual person, is in an upper world. The thing that's closest to him is the spirituality, the sky. It should be written the opposite. It should be written, listen the sky, tishma shamayim, vehazini aretz, and the ground should, it should hear. The ground is further away. But over here, there's a very big secret that Moshe Rabbeinu is choosing to tell Am Yisrael. He says, I'm in a completely spiritual realm. But what does it help to be completely spiritual if you're not being practical with it? So I'm taking from the spirituality and bringing it down to earth. But it's not only that I'm bringing from the spirituality and bringing it down to earth, it's I'm also taking my day-to-day -day actions and bringing them up to a spiritual level. Everything that we do has this potential of bringing us closer or further away from God. Eating food, the most basic thing, we eat food, we make a brach on it, it's kosher food, it's a, it's a wonderful thing, it's a mitzvah, it brought us closer to God. We ate food without making a blessing on it. We ate food that wasn't kosher. It could push us further away. Moshe Rabbeinu says, in our day-to-day -day lives, how do we take things from the ground, from the aretz, and we have them hear what we want to say, bring them up to a spiritual level. And from a spiritual point of place, how do we take it and not just leave it in the sky and bring it down to this world? Shabbat shalom, shanatovah.